The first suture we're going to teach you is the simple interrupted suture. Uh, this is the most common suture that you'll be using in wound closure. Just a quick tip on handling the needle. You'll notice your needle has a flat portion in the middle. This is where you grab the needle with your needle driver. You don't want to grab it at the end where the suture comes in or the swedge because it's, it's round and you'll be unstable. Never grab the needle at the tip because you'll dull it. A simple bite. Uh, we'll want to enter the skin at 90 degrees and we'll go back a few millimeters from the skin edge and take a nice bite perpendicular to the skin and then on the opposite side the same and exaggerate that 90 degrees. If you take it at 90 degrees the skin edges will then evert and come together nicely. Here we'll set up a instrument tie and you can see here again we do three throws for nylon and we'll go ahead and clip this. This is approximation without tension. You want to go back a couple millimeters uh, for each bite. If you go back too far, it'll tend to invert uh, the skin and we want to avoid that. So here again, exaggerate the 90 degrees on each side. Make sure that we are back the same distance on each side. An a instrument tie, we do a surgeon's knot for the first. We cross the suture over, lay it down nice and flat. Don't pull up on it until we get the second suture down and tighten it and lock it in. So this is the simple suture, uh, it's something that uh, you'll need to practice a lot. To